What's up, everybody? Got a quick video. This is the uh, axle out of my SCX10. This is the stock axle like you'd get on every Honcho and every Dingo and every Rubicon since the beginning of the SCX10. And what I've done, you saw my other video, maybe you didn't, bought the SSD axles, SSD RC. This is another one. Well, Here's what it looks like assembled before you put the cap on, or I'm sorry, the diff cover. This is what this axle looks like. It uses the stock axial lockouts, the stock axial axles, the stock axial center diff, and the stock axial pinion, as well as all the bearings. What you do is you assemble this just like you would a normal axial axle. Only this one looks 400 times better. It's a lot smaller. You can see the bulk of the stock one as opposed to the SSD axle. Now, like I said, this uses all the stock internals. It comes with the housing, the four-link truss, the three-link truss with panhard mount for the front, bearing caps, and hardware. You, you will have to reuse some of the hardware that come or that come off of your stock ac uh, axle like these little lockout screws you'll have to reuse those four and for the four link you'll use two of the of the um, short little 2.5s and the one countersunk in the pack that goes right in the top and then you use the shorter the shorter 2.5 to plug this hole so when you do the front, You'll put this on, and you'll use these two long ones here in those two holes, and then you'll use this short one in the front right there, and then uh, and then you'll have to plug the hole in the top of this diff with um, one of the other small bolts included. It also includes the bolt for the four link and the bolts for your. Um, shock mounts and lower links.